Massive rivers of lava are tearing through the Spanish island of La Palma, forcing thousands of people to flee their homes. The lava flows were unleashed by a volcanic eruption this past weekend. So far, no one has been hurt, but damage there has been extensive. A giant river of lava covering everything in its path with molten rock. Since the Cumbre Vieja volcano on La Palma erupted on Sunday, the smoldering stream has been eating up fields, roads and houses. Around 100 homes have been destroyed. More than 5,000 people were evacuated in time as scientists predicted the outbreak. Most of the evacuees have been taken to the island's military barracks. Some won't be able to return to their homes. We look in that direction and we can't believe it. We still can't believe that our home is there underneath that volcano. And even if the house is gone, it's still my village, my neighborhood, my people. It hurts me for all of our people, so many friends who've lost everything. They've been left with nothing, just like us. They've left their whole lives over there. And the lava continues to inch forward, leaving firefighters powerless. It's impossible to defend any house because of the power of the lava. All they could do was to make sure farm animals were moved out of harm's way. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez delayed his trip to the UN General Assembly to visit La Palma. He praised the response of the emergency services and promised government support. We will have very long days ahead of us, but what I want to convey again to the citizens of the island is that we are all united, all of Spain is with La Palma. This solidarity is not just for today, not just while we are addressing this act of nature, but also when this is over. While the volcano is still spitting red-hot matter, the immediate danger is over. But nobody knows how long Cumbre Vieja will remain active for. Experts say the lava flow could continue for weeks, perhaps even months.